we have multiple solutions for you and your learners, whether they are first aid candidates, college students, athletes, employees, or healthcare providers. Together with my two other companies, Heart to Heart, First Aid and CPR Services, and Giraffe Multimedia Inc., iTest is able to offer three main services as a full service consulting company. We provide services to customize online tools for evaluating practical skills. We provide services to customize learning management systems. We also provide services to help with content development. This includes start to finish video production services and existing content such as first aid videos and frameworks for running evaluations. If this relates to you, please fill out a form on our website and we will schedule a meeting. You can also read more about the specific packages we offer in our information package. Our startup company cannot be more excited to share our innovative patent pending product, an online solution for practical skills testing and evaluation within a learning management system for certification and record keeping purposes. First, our product leads the students through the learning, reviewing, and practicing of the skills before they are eye tested. Next, it offers a grading and verification process that includes two-way communication between the instructor and the students with private messaging capabilities. Within this process, the instructor records and reviews each skill and then based on a set of certification must-sees, determines the skill as verified, try again, or unverified with a maximum of three attempts. Digital videos that are verified by the instructor are collected and auto-populated to the skills checklist that is connected to the student's profiles, as well as rosters from the training provider. Once the instructor submits the class roster post-course, the data is stored, backed up, and simultaneously sent to both the training provider and the regulatory body. This novel innovation provides superior transparency between students, service providers, and regulators. This tackles the issuance of fraudulent certifications that leaves out key mandatory skills while cutting corners. Our solution keeps standards high and benefits public safety and workplaces. Our mission is to promote public confidence in certified professionals and regulatory bodies. Our system enables superior quality control and oversight in regulated industries and can be implemented in any health and safety program that requires practical skills testing. Social or physical distancing will have a long-term effect on group in-class training, and we must accept this fact. I strongly feel that our solution will not only be equal to traditional in-person skills testing and evaluation, but better by using and including data keeping as evidence that can be stored on multi-platforms and accessed easily by appropriate authorities. Our evidence informed formula will pave the way for many service providers to resume training and certification for the hundreds of essential services and professions and the hundreds of thousands of workers in these industries during and after COVID-19. Market analysis of first aid clients. We had over 1,111 clients respond to a market analysis survey we distributed. Slide one, out of the respondents, these were the top reasons why they took first aid. Slide two, for clients who were taking first aid as a school requirement, these are the programs for which they took first aid. Slide three, for clients who were taking first aid as a work requirement, these are the top programs for which they took first aid. Slide four, over 90% of clients would consider doing training from home online with equipment delivered to them. Slide five, over 61% of clients were either very interested or extremely interested in a live video conferencing solution to complete the skills part of the first aid course. Slide six, over 75% of clients were either very interested or extremely interested 
in a self-guided or work at your own pace solution for the skills part of the course. Slide seven, when given a choice between live video conferencing and a self-guided course, almost 40% chose the video conferencing and 60% chose a self-guided course. Slide eight, over 70% of clients would be okay with uploading videos to their own learner account. Slide nine, over 70% of clients are additionally okay with having images and videos of their skills securely stored in a database or first aid registry. Slide 10. Only 35% of clients are very comfortable or extremely comfortable with returning to in-class courses once training providers can reopen. Slide 11. If given an option, only 19% of clients would choose a fully in-class option, 40% of clients would choose a blended option, and 40% of clients would choose a fully online option. Data shows support for fully online solutions in first aid. Data shows less interest for in-class training. Data shows low confidence levels for in-class training post-COVID-19. Bridges and Barriers to Innovation, a talk with myself, Nick Grandinelli. When it comes to innovation, it is very important that we have leadership. Leadership starts from the top. In our case, it's the regulator. It trickles down to the service provider and, in some cases, the training partner. This workflow requires clear pathways, lines of communication, openness, respect, and engagement from all parties. Lack of Urgency before COVID-19, society as a whole was caught off guard. We cannot wait until the next pandemic to prepare for one. Fear. Innovative people take a risk when sharing their innovations. They might not know how it is going to be received or they're really nervous about failure or rejection. It involves putting yourself out there. With this in mind, it is vital to provide encouragement, and a non-judgmental space for sharing, especially within the workplace. Innovation thrives in a competitive and open and free market. We must encourage society and government to keep industries open, encourage new business, allow competition to innovate and keep the economy healthy, avoid abusive dominance, promote fair play, and follow the Canadian Competitions Act. Footage data from the participant perspective during eye test. We wanted to get insights from the perspective of the students, so during testing trials, we analyzed what worked well and what could be changed for future trials. Using this trial and error approach, we are honing in on the perfect angles and multiple angle approach of capturing video-based evidence for competency. Once everybody is ready, just give me a thumbs up and then we're gonna do it. Okay, good job class, here we go. We even evaluated our pre-eye testing process and have proven a favorable approach for best and most successful outcomes. In my 21 years of teaching, I mastered a signature recipe on adult learning and best methods for skill development. I have adopted this approach and we have seen equal benefits to in-class training. Okay, good. Okay, and cut. Wonderful. That's not excellent. Okay. Let's do a partial prompt. Now it's going to go something like this. We're just going to do a little practice. I'm going to say, check the area four. You're going to say danger. Sure. And then you're going to check. Okay. I'm going to say check level of, and you're going to say, and then you're going to check. Okay. Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. All right, let's do this. Prompt you. Okay, you, it's going to be a, a partial uh, guide. Okay, here we go. Check the area four. Danger. Danger. All right, check. Yeah, good. Check level of. Responsiveness. All right, let's do it. Let's check. Sir, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Yeah. You know what? They're not responding, though. So you're going to open the? Airway. You're going to check to see if they are? Breathing. All right, let's do it. Five to ten seconds. We provide skill-building opportunities. Within a real-world context, 
through experimental mock emergencies. I think that we're all ready to get eye tested. Are you guys all ready to get eye tested? I test me. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna be talking. Okay, this is your time to shine. This is your time to um, show your stuff, okay? Um, all right, so are you guys ready? Everyone's in position. Everyone looks perfect. All right, we're gonna be eye tested in three, two, one, action. We wanted to see how effective eye test was, so we decided to give a group of selected participants a mock emergency 24 to 48 hours post eye testing, and then another mock emergency 14 days post eye testing. The results were quite positive and showed retention and consistency in skills even after 14 days. There was very little difference between the two mock emergencies. Our results encourage us to continue practice trials, and we will be providing a more robust report shortly. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 30. The mock emergencies were very important to me to make sure that we actually had a real person at the beginning of the rescue and we subbed out the person with a mannequin at the point of compressions. This is important to me because I feel very strongly that when we look at testing, we ultimately have to test the participants with the goal of performing CPR on a real person as much as possible. I feel very strongly that we need to make sure that our participants leave with our testing and learning experience with the confidence on how to apply the skills learned to a real person. During our testing, we made sure that our participants' health and safety was of the utmost importance. The individuals that the participants are performing on are loved ones and would be considered in within the bubble of the participant. So we definitely kept health and safety in mind during these practice sessions and we ensured that everyone was okay and safe. Okay, let's have a look at one more scenario with a different participant. We will have a look at the post eye test mock emergency 24 to 48 hours post eye testing and then again 14 days post eye testing. Let's sit back and watch. The uh, first aid kit, I have an unresponsive person that's uh, not breathing. Get bring an AED too.
Hey, buddy, you all right? You need help? Check for danger. Hey, man, you all right? Hey, I got an unresponsive person that's not breathing. Um, go get a C or go get an AD kit, a first aid kit, and call nine one one. Are you an educator that is struggling to certify students, a business owner that sells training courses, or a student that desperately needs a certification for their school program or summer job? Our entire economy depends on skills and training. We all know group training and testing and evaluating practical skills for in-class courses is not possible right now due to COVID-19. Even when the industry opens back up, we're faced with physical distancing, which causes less clients per course, which causes economical hardships, and let's face it, even employee and public anxiety to return back to group training courses. We have so many jobs, professions, accreditations, and workplaces that depend on training courses for skills and health and safety compliance, such as first aid, CPR, AED, and so many more. Regulators and government workers must be feeling a tremendous amount of responsibility trying to work on a solution, and they're probably worried about quality control too. I get where they're coming from. My name is Nick Rondinelli, and I'm one of the largest first aid providers in Ontario. Not being able to meet in groups has halted my industry. I've been working on a solution, and I want to share it with you. See the link in the description below to find out more and sign up to receive updates and to contact us directly. You can also contact us online at www.heart, numeric 2, heartcpr.com forward slash itest. Time for innovation. Time for action. Itest.